Welcome to the relaxing show. Today's topic is the exfoliating pads as well as recapping what we talked about this week on the 3B Waxing Show on waxing at home. On Tuesday or Wednesday, I gave you guys what you need to wax at home, the supplies you need to wax at home. And then on Wednesday, I recapped that and gave you tips on waxing at home. I said Wednesday again. Wednesday I did it and then Thursday I did the recap of what you need and the tips and tricks for waxing at home. Those two videos are on YouTube under Becca Hassong. You can click the link in the bio on my Instagram at 3 Waxing and it's the last button to check out those videos. And then today is just recapping lightly on waxing at home, the benefits. Uh, I'll go over some of the options if you want to work with me with waxing at home. And then I'm going to talk about the exfoliating pads that are back in stock right now. And let me get some water. All right. <clears throat> so, welcome to the Three B Waxing Show. Welcome to the Three B Waxing Show, and so you remember, welcome to the Three B Waxing Show. I am Becca, your pro waxer and skin therapist since 2010. I help people remove unwanted hair, acne, discoloration, ingrowns through full body waxing, chemical peels, facials, and products. I have my own product line which is the exfoliating pads, which we're gonna talk about today, that have been sold all over uh, the US, the UK, Canada, and the UAE. Uh, I also help estheticians start their own product lines, start their own salon suite, attract clients, and improve their waxing technique. I've been the regional trainer for a large waxing franchise and the lead esthetician at a high-end gym. And I go live Wednesday through Friday at three, 26 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Welcome to those who just joined the 3 Boxing Show. Welcome, welcome. And I talk about different topics as far as waxing, skincare, skincare ingredients, business, aesthetics, and that kind of thing. If you want to know when I go live about waxing, you can join the Wax Lounge. If you want to know when I go live about skincare ingredients and products, you can join the lab. And if you want to know when I go live about helping estheticians and non-estheticians start their own product line, start their business, start anything uh, aesthetics and business related, then you can join the Salon T. And you can join by clicking the link in my bio on Instagram at 3 waxing and then uh, finding the appropriate button. So it'll say wax lounge, the lab, and salon team. So um, I'm afraid that wearing this, I'm afraid that this is just gonna fall off. I really like these, this, these dresses I got, but anyways. Okay, so this past week, like I said, we talked about waxing at home. I'm not in the salon right now because of what's going on in the world. I've closed down the shop and I don't know when exactly I'll be open again, but I started offering Wax With Me calls to help people at home learn how to wax themselves or teach somebody in their household how to wax them. In case you can't go to a salon or you don't wanna go to a salon because you don't trust it right now, so I'm offering that. And, uh, you know, I created a list of things that you need to wax yourself at home, but I also went over those things. So just to recap a little bit, uh, we talked a lot about hard wax, 
how if you are going to wax yourself at home, I do recommend using hard wax. It's gentle on your skin and it's easy to clean up. It's less messy. Talked about getting sticks. If you are waxing your face, you're going to want to get some of these sticks. If you are waxing your body, you want to get these sticks. And then as you get more comfortable, you can start cutting them in half. You may want some body powder for waxing your underarms or if you're waxing your Brazilian because those areas can get sweaty or moist and you want to get rid of that moisture so that way the wax sticks better. Hey Mint to Massage, welcome to the Waxing Show. Good to see you. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, what else you need is, so you need the wax, you need the sticks, you need uh, body powder uh i also said you can use oil or you can get oil if you need something to put on the skin because your skin is dry because when you are waxing and you're applying it to dry skin the wax will suck all the moisture out of your skin and if you're really dry and you go to pull that wax strip it'll break so you may want some oil if you're doing that. You may also want to get a after cream with aloe or a moisturizer with lavender or something that's calming after you wax yourself. I did say you do need a mirror. I don't have a mirror to show, but you will probably need a mirror depending on what you are waxing. Uh, I say pretty much everything you'll need a mirror. Maybe if you're doing your like stomach strip, you wouldn't in your legs, but you'll probably need a mirror for your legs as well because you need to like look at the back of your legs. And I believe that is it for all that I can think of right now. Again, I have that list that I created. So just DM me list and I can send it to you. And then the videos from this past week where I went over are on my feed right now so it goes into those so that is that oh one other thing I did talk about needing if you are watching yourself at home is like the mindset of it and a week before you decide to wax yourself you need to get like prepare yourself for it mentally and also exfoliate exfoliate so that way the hair comes out better it's less painful and you're gonna get better results yeah, that brings me into the pads. So today I wanted to talk about the pads because there's been a lot of questions and orders just because of them coming back in stock. And I have new people who, I don't even say, I don't even say new people, people who are, you know, been around for a while but wanna know more information about the pads. And because I've had a lot of reviews that I've been posting so I thought today would be a good time to talk about waxing and the pads. Also because there is a correlation to them. I, I'm a waxer at heart, that's what I do. But I started the pads because a lot of my clients had ingrowns, dark spots. Um, they needed something to exfoliate with to get better wax results in the treatment room. So that's how I started out with the pads. And... You know it all kind of goes together like I recommend if you are gonna wax your underarms at home the night before or two nights before use the pads to exfoliate and that way you can get a good a good nice wax when you wax yourself so it kind of correlates uh, so here is the story of how it started basically I was working for a company and they actually had an ingrown hair serum that was in a form of pads but they did not have lactic acid in their formula and whenever I would look for products with lactic acid salicylic and glycolic I couldn't find anything that was in pad form and I really wanted to stick with a product that was in pad form because I, at the time, I was also working at a gym. I know people were on the go, and 
having something in pad form was easy to use and it helped people remember to exfoliate and take care of their skin while they were on the go. Like you could travel with it. So I was like, oh, I want a pad form. So I did a lot of research and that took quite a while. It was about three to four months where I did research on finding a lab and that kind of thing. And I had opened up through be waxing by then. And I had opened up through be waxing in August. So I quit my job in August, one of my jobs in August. And I opened up in August and then around November-ish is when I came out with my first set of pads. I pre-sold them. Uh, I know who ordered my first one. She comes on here, I'll shout her out. Uh, yeah, so I wanted something with salicylic glycolic and lactic acid. Now the reason why I wanted those ingredients is because they are chemical exfoliants which are really good for sensitive skin glycolic eats away at the dead skin cells at top so when you are exfoliating it is really good to use glycolic because it'll help the hair come out when you get wax and then it'll also help you if you have ingrowns because it'll eat away at that dead skin that locks up those those hairs i also wanted lactic acid which lactic acid exfoliates as well but it's derived from milk and sugar so it's moisturizing and it's not going to dry out your skin and then it also helps a lot with dark spots and that's something i really wanted to help people with was with their dark spots and then salicylic acid is really good for bumps and acne and that kind of thing and if you are suffering from ingrowns, you want salicylic acid in your products to pull out that oil or that bacteria to the top so it can get out of that pore. And though that's the reason why I wanted those three exfoliating properties or ingredients. Now, I did want something calming, and my first set of pads had aloe in them. So it had aloe, salicylic acid, glycolic, lactic, and then it had other great ingredients as well that were good for our pigmentation, uh, exfoliating, calming, those kind of things. Cell turnover. Then in 2019, I switched labs and came up with a stronger version of my exfoliating pads. And then I have now two pads that... I offer and one of them is really strong which is the acne and ingrown pads because they have salicylic acid in them and then one is still super strong because it is a chemical exfoliant but it is derived from fruit fruit acids and so it's a little more gentle and you can actually use them as toner pads so that's what I'm going to share today show you them and uh, give you some examples of how you can use them and how they help. Uh, I'll go over the benefits first. Uh, I always talk about exfoliating. Hey Charles, Dave, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Welcome back. I always talk about exfoliating and why it's important. Exfoliating is really important for not only waxing, but for your skin in general. Exfoliating is kind of like the thing that's gonna help everything work better. If you're exfoliating, you're removing that dead skin, so your serums, your moisturizers, and everything else work better. Exfoliating is what's gonna help you if you suffer from dark spots. It's going to, you know, start lifting that dead skin, pulling it out, and then your other products to help you with dark spots are gonna work better. So you do want to exfoliate all parts of your body and there's different levels to it there's the mechanical exfoliation which we talked about last week and i do have that video it it should be still up on my instagram feed but it could just be on youtube you have your mechanical exfoliation then you have your chemical exfoliation which there are so many types of mechanical and so many types of uh chemical exfoliation so with 
physical with mechanical you have your brushes your loofahs your scrubs your hand mittens uh your gommage your masks that rub off those those are mechanical exfoliation your chemical exfoliation is your acids so how we talked about how the pads have lactics that also look like holic acid it's also your papaya mass your fruit enzymes your fruit enzyme mixes those things are your chemical exfoliants chemical peels where they're like lactic 20 percent kojic acid three percent those kind of things is your chemical exfoliation if you have sensitive skin you definitely want to consider chemical exfoliation because it's not so abrasive on your skin as mechanical exfoliation is. And one thing I wanna say, and I was talking to a client about this today, is that it's important to find out what, what degree or how strong your skin needs for exfoliation. So you may could do a physical exfoliation and a chemical exfoliation in one day, or you could just do two times a week, you'll have to figure out what your skin needs in the process of your skin journey. But there are so many options out there and, you know, through your journey, you should be figuring out, okay, I, can, I do really well with doing a chemical exfoliant three times a week and one physical exfoliant once a week. Or if you are like, you know what, I just do well using a chemical exfoliant all the time and then if, if I go and get a facial and they use a physical exfoliation like microdermabrasion, then that works out great for me. Microdermabrasion is a physical, a mechanical physical exfoliation. So I swap out mechanical and physical during this whole time. I just feel like this dress is just going to fall off. Oh, this is not that type of show. It's secure, but I just don't usually wear these kind of dresses. And I want to start wearing more like summery dresses even though we're about to hit out of summer all right so that's the breakdown of exfoliation like I said they both are exfoliating you ever think of all the stuff you need to do like in a moment where you're like oh my gosh I forgot to do this I think of like oh man I forgot to respond to this email literally what I was thinking when I started pulling this tape, tape apart. All right, so here are the acne and ingrown pads. Oh, they match my dress today. Maybe I should do a photo shoot. Yeah, the color matches. All right. So here are the acne ingrown pads. They have 2% salicylic acid and they're really good for bumps, breakouts, acne, ingrowns. You can use them on your face, body, uh, your bikini line. They're really good for preventing bumps and also bringing them down. And as well as if you have dark spots, the lactic acid is really good for fading those. You'll decide how often you want to use them. Uh, you know, three to four times a week is a good, a good test or a good, you know, average use. I recommend doing a sensitivity test, depending on. That way, you can just see how strong or how often you need to use the pads, and then how it reacts with your skin, because you may need. You may need to only use these once or two times a week because your skin takes it really well and it exfoliates it right away. Or you may need to do this more often. So the sensitivity test is that you take a pad. There's 40 pads in here. Do you guys see that? I don't know if that was a bird or a cat. There's 40 pads in here and you take it and you wipe it on the area. So your face, chest, underarms, um, Brazilian area legs wherever you're using them and then you let it sit for 15 minutes and then you rinse off so it's still gonna work but you're seeing like oh is that you know was it tingly was it too tingly uh, did I not feel much usually that's just a precaution 
to see, you know, did I feel a lot going on there? If not, then start using it where you can sleep in it. You can use it, you know, at night and then sleep in the solution and then rinse it off. You can use them in the daytime. I do recommend using sunscreen if you're using these at all on your face. If, if you're using these at all on your face or your chest or arms or anything, definitely wear sunscreen because you always want to wear sunscreen when you're exfoliating the area to protect that new skin. But also, if you are using these in the morning, just be careful and aware that you may be more sensitive to the sun. So ways you can use this is after the shower, wipe it whatever areas you want. You can wipe this on your face and then put your vitamin C on and then your moisturizer. Or you can use this at night and not put your all your stuff on like your serums and your moisturizer afterwards. And you can just use this. Because uh, my first coat, she, you know, marketed or told me to market my pads as a facial in a jar and basically that is what they are is a facial in a jar so you could really just do this and sleep in it and be okay and this these pads I know it's like hearing from me and I'm I sell them so sometimes it's like oh do I really trust it but they've helped so many of my clients and Everyone uses them differently. Well, not everybody uses them differently. Some people use them the same, but there's so many different ways to use them. And there's different things that they've helped people with. So like back knee, dark spots, um, inner thigh darkness. You can use these when you are doing an at-home facial. You can apply it and then put your steam on it and let the products and in, or the ingredients in the products work their magic under steam so there are so many different ways to use the pants and i am feeling how this is matching my dress yes okay so acne and ingrown pads they have salicylic acid glycolic acid and lactic acid chemical exfoliants there's 40 pads in a jar, and they're really great for sensitive skin. All right. Now we'll go into the fruit and zone pads. Have the fruit in my pads and the, there's 40 pads in here as well and they are chemical exfoliants like I said and they are made from fruit enzymes so they're eating away at the dead skin cells as well um, a little less abrasive than the salicylic acid so salicylic acid goes into the pore and then pulls out you know bacteria this one's eaten at the dead skin cells. There's also a lot of ingredients in here that are hydrating, uh, hyaluronic acid, even the pineapple in here is hydrating. I've done a video on the pineapple, which the scientific word for the pineapple core was, uh, oh, I know I remember it. Ana, ananas, sativas, sat, sat, something savage. Sativus. Ananas Savitus. It took me forever to know how to pronounce it right. But, yeah, that's the scientific name for it. I have a video about it because uh, I did a video on pineapple core and the benefits of it. And I actually cored a pineapple on the show. But, there are a lot of benefits to the enzymes that are not just exfoliating so hydration is a big one because I don't know if you've ever 
experience where you're using something that's exfoliating and it's really drying. And so both pads are pretty hydrating, um, but the fruit enzymes have a lot of hydration in them. So that's why you can use them so often as toner pads, daily pads, uh, as, as needed, and use as needed. So those are the pads. They're on 3bwaxing.com, 3bwaxing.com, 3bwaxing.com. Um, and also, if you click the link in the bio, I put that up. So, it's there. So those are the two paths and that's what I am working on this weekend is uh, sending out, I'm not going to send out orders this weekend. I'm going to start packing some of the orders, but I am going to start delivering or sending out the ones that go to estheticians and then if you purchased uh, from me today which thank you so much for all the orders so thank you if you purchased uh, your pad today I will be doing that next week but I'll start working on packing them so it'll be something throughout the weekend that I work on every so often so for those who just joined or um, Coming in and out, welcome to the 3 Waxing Show, welcome to the 3 Waxing Show, and so you remember, welcome to the 3 Waxing Show. I am Becca, your pro waxer and skin therapist since 2010, I help, and licensed esthetician. I help people remove unwanted hair, if you have unwanted acne, um, ingrowns, what hair, ingrowns, acne, dark spots. I do that through facials, chemical pills, waxing, and my products. I have my own product line, which has been sold all over the UK, the US, Canada, the UAE. I usually don't say it in the order, that's why I said it so slow. So I say, uh, been sold in the US, the UK, Canada, and the UAE. It's funny how you say things in a certain way all the time. I also sell SkinScript and PCA. Or retail it so and I do skin consultations and wax with knee calls but that's not the intro or the you know revamp I'm kind of messing this revamp up but can't really mess it up it's my show uh I also help estheticians start their own product line start their own salon suite attract clients and improve their waxing technique I do that through the waxing show my classes, my courses, you can check those out at 3 Some of the classes you can't even see. You have to DM me about what you're looking for and then I'll assist you on what class is best for you. I also do pick my brand calls with estheticians and non-estheticians looking to start their own product line or um, help them in their esthetician career. But like I said, I've been an esthetician for 10 years. And I go live about all this stuff Wednesday through Friday, 3.26 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I do my calls on Tuesday. So how we were talking about waxing earlier, if you are looking to do a one-on-one -on -one wax call with me where I coach you through waxing yourself, then I do them on Tuesdays. And how you do it is you just book the appointment through 3bwaxing.com or you can click the link in the bio that says skin improvement call, wax with knee call. And you just do, you can do it your time zone because I, I haven't figured out the time zone. I have figured it out, but I haven't fixed it. Do schedule it on your time zone and... Um, I always confirm before, like, oh, what time? What time were you thinking? Did you book it on your time? And then I, I figure it out for my time. Because I've been having a lot of calls for people who are not in 
California or not in the West Coast or in the East Coast or uh, Central Standard Time. So that is one thing. And then with the Pick My Brain call, same thing. Just book it as your your time. And then um, I will contact you. So I have a headache because I don't know why. I need to drink more water. I am not at my regular time. So it is like. 403 and I'm still at noon so I need to drink some more water but uh, that is waxing and the exfoliating pads I know it's kind of like you know a little chill show today but I hope that answers you know some of the questions you had and um, it lets you know what if the pads are something that would work for you in your skin and your skin routine. And on the website, it does say that I ship seven to 10 days. So like within seven to 10 days, you'll get a shipping email like, oh, it's being shipped. But I've been doing shorter than that. I just give myself that buffer zone in case, you know, something happens. But it's usually shorter than that. Uh, unless I'm doing pre-sale. Which, when I do pre-sale, it does take longer because it's a pre-sale. Yeah. So, any other questions? Or is that it? <clears throat> well, I'm glad this was useful. And thank you for joining. I will be back on live next week. And yeah, if you would like to book any of those calls before Tuesday, book this weekend. Cause I already, I might, I think I have like two spots left, two spots left, but yeah. So have a good one and yeah, have a good weekend.